all right guys enough with the bullshit or enough with the things you know now i'm all yours it's you have my undivided attention no it will be divided because i will sculpt but it's almost undivided except for the sculpting okay yeah so uh what do we do today casual today what i did is for the other channel i did a video about working from concept now we will do the same thing the same head but the difference will be we will do it with a body so we will make a body about this but with this or of this yeah so body forever my wife is calling me i don't know why but i have to pick up sorry about that uh Кажи, стримвам. Чао. Нещо проблем, кажи. Добре, айде че спът. Чао. Alright. Yeah. She didn't understand uh, that I was streaming, so yeah. It was a little bit misunderstanding, but she will understand. You know, at some point. life wife is the boss yeah of course we always have to respect you know but now uh since i'm streaming she has to understand if she doesn't yeah there are other wives you know it's not difficult so it's uh people have to understand each other you know it's not uh it has to be mutual understanding but now you see i'm working extremely low poly and uh, I think this body that we will make of this character will be some kind of a thin body, but we'll see. I mean, not thin, thin. It will be muscular thin, but it will be like a agile cat body. I uh, will see. We have a lot, a lot of time. I did it for 22 minutes, just the head. So I think we will be okay. But I was not answering any questions so uh yeah it may hurt a little bit with the questions asked so stop asking questions because it will be difficult for me to answer and then do it you know i'm joking of course ask questions everything i will just not answer it will be easy no no not a problem for me you know just not don't look at the chat and just work and we'll be able to do whatever it will be amazing Amazing experience for me. For you, not so much, but for me, it will be nice. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. Sometimes we have to think about ourselves, you know. Yeah. But I'm joking again. Because, yeah, at some point, I need to make a video about the art stations because I see people are still uploading their art stations in the Discord server. And we have to, you know... We have to pay attention to that too, which is absolutely okay. We, we will do it. It's the easiest part. I mean, I will do a little head sculpt, for example, some girl, just for practice a little bit, just for half an hour or so, and then art station feedbacks. But um, today, no. Today, we will do this because I haven't done a stream in a while, as you probably know, and we need to make something nice. Now, since I uh, closed the phone on my wife, very rudely, uh, if you see her behind me with uh, something big like a frying pan or something, uh, just tell me in the chat. Probably it will be too late, but still, yeah, just warn me a little bit. Because she will come home and um, maybe she will be very angry. But it's... Uh, it's her problem. I mean, she's calling me now <laughs> to tell the kids that it's snowing outside. Imagine that. It's snowing out. Yeah, it's snowing outside, which is not normal for this time of the year. But we all know that the global warming and global the temperature change, temperature change is now a thing. So it's not a big deal. And they are already in bed. So how can I wake them up? while i'm streaming and tell them look kids it's snowing outside 
Ale no dobra, to bereme ťa na to. How low sound? Oh, the sound is low. Really? Maybe? Really? It shouldn't be low. I mean, uh... How? Our whole lives, Nico, did you practice this character before? You can see the course of practice before the final one. Uh, which character? I practice the course characters usually. But, uh, really, uh, the sound is uh, low? Tell me again. Because two people are saying that the sound is low. So probably there is something about the sound. Maybe it's low. I don't know. And I don't know how it is low since I haven't done anything in particular. I can increase it a little bit. Sound is fine on your right. Okay. For, for some people it's low, for some people it's fine. So probably there is a problem somewhere. It's low indeed. Sound is fine. Sound is okay. So one guy is okay, one guy is not okay. Fine for me. Okay. It's also really low for me and I've maxed out all the settings. Wow. Hmm, that's uh, very strange, by the way. I don't know exactly what is happening. Maybe I will try to increase it. Now it's good. Just fine. Okay, I have to just scream maybe more. Maybe it's uh, it's me because I'm not... Uh, since it's a little bit late here, I'm not screaming that much. Maybe that's the problem. Who knows? Should be okay. If it's not, it will not be okay. Ah, it's absolutely fine. So now, uh, in the new Blender, as we know, the 3.5... Mm, remesh the net of the remesh we call it not with shift r but just r and i knew that they will do that because i heard it somewhere that they plan to do this and there are people now complaining in my udemy and they are asking but nico i'm trying you said in the course that uh, with shift r we call this but it's not working for me and they're not testing r because it's supposed to be shift r uh, so it's yeah though this is the problem with the free software probably that uh, sometimes they just change the shortcuts for for very fundamental things and uh, you cannot complain <laughs> since it's free if it's not free you again will not be able to complain you can complain nobody will hear you even if it's paid software so it's kind of the same it's similar i mean paid not paid if you complain Nobody will give a damn, you know, it's just like that. So it's fine. I think it's fine. I say it's cool. I don't know what you say, but I say it's cool. Let's see. Turn up your speakers. Yeah, good. Now good, just fine. Smoke it, talk wonky, as loud as we can. <laughs> With uh, little speakers, uh, the sound is very low. I don't know, probably the sound is low. I have to check my... Um, sound settings my output sound settings if i have ones but i have a microphone choose microphone i don't know if i can uh, i'm uh, just uh, you know seeing the settings here uh, okay this is the settings for the microphone but not exactly no they're here it's not no 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 okay let me close the camtasia i don't know maybe it's making some problems okay yes the camtasia is closed um the sound settings from here those are the speaker settings so i guess they are not exactly uh this is my microphone no it's a uh, probably no all right uh, let's leave it for now for most people it's okay i guess ah yes yeah i cannot upload a uh, update of for this version just for the changes which are a few changes there are not too many changes but this is a big one i mean for the sculptors it's a relatively big change although it's you know it's instead of shift r it's just r so it's a little bit easier even we may say but people will not be able to probably find it out by themselves because they are buying the tutorial, buying the course, and they're expecting for me to tell them everything. Not to have to go to the internet and, uh, you know, find out some things by themselves, which is absolutely normal. 
because they are paying good money. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, of course. They are not good money, but they are paying some money, which is, uh, you know, if you pay some money, whatever they are, you expect quality, you know. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, good money. Uh, twelve. I paid twelve dollars for this crap. What are you doing? I am uh, confused. But uh, by the way, uh, let me read. But uh, the Spanish people can say. By the way, mm, there are there is a review. One of the last reviews that I have is um, this one. Uh, he's saying that this. He's saying this. Uh, devolver el dinero. I don't know exactly what uh, is he saying. Maybe some people in the chat will be able to tell me. Uh, it's interesting. And why? Beats me. I don't know why this guy is unhappy with the course. But he's unhappy. So uh, tell me what this, does it mean. I, I can put it in the translate, but I haven't. Because, uh, you know, I don't care. But I think... Those are just haters, you know, and haters always will hate. So it's it's okay, but uh, I'm just curious to give back money. Ah, uh, to give back money, he can always uh, go and uh, re refund. Probably he already did that, but before that, he has to leave a bad comment, you know, amazing stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Do you use Deeple for translation? Is good. No, I uh, don't use it. I. Uh, I use just Google Translate when I want to translate something. But in this case, I really didn't care that much what this guy is saying. I was a little bit curious. Not too much. So that's why I'm asking now. I saw it this morning, this comment. Yeah, and people are... Uh, I mean, it's it's interesting. Uh, I have spent some time making this course. You know, people are liking it. It has a good rating. Most people like it. And suddenly he comes. He watches first uh, two or three videos who he said what is this crap because he was expecting something else probably a course about programming or something i don't know and then suddenly he decides to not just refund but leave a bad review with one star just to give uh his kind of thing to lower the rating of the course very uh, good i mean yeah, people. This is the same. This is the same reason, by the way, that uh, babies and small childs like to purchase, not to purchase, to to chase pigeons, for example. They saw so a couple of pigeons just minding their own business outside on the grass, and they just start running towards them. And pigeons starts to run away and fly, and the kids are very happy because they. Uh, have impact on the environment. It's very good. It's very nice to have impact on the environment. And it's the same with this guy. He just wanted to have some impact on the environment uh, by just uh, leaving a bad review on the course. Good guy, I mean. Yeah. No, probably his life is uh, somehow miserable and something. And uh, usually that's the case. If the guy is having a good life, is having a good time everything is okay with him he will not like the course again probably some people doesn't don't doesn't you don't have to like the course he will just refund and go you know but no he has to leave a bad review with one star yeah it doesn't hurt me that much i mean i have a lot of good reviews and this bad review yeah one bad review by the way is uh worth like uh it's worth like let's say 10 good reviews so 10 five star reviews can neutralize a little bit one bad review it's uh, it's yeah so he's doing something yeah definitely yeah he has to be happy maybe he's now sleeping better after he does that maybe he's you know feeling very nice yeah haters always i'm a hater too i know i know haters <laughs> it's my kind of people but I don't completely like it when they uh, impact my score. So the sound is low in many people are saying the sound is low. I have to check out my settings here. I will increase my microphone sound. So now should be a little bit better. Bell. 
But other than that, I don't know exactly what I can do with this. Maybe advanced audio properties. The balance is okay. Mm, it should be a little bit better now. Although, yeah, I have to do some tests. But uh, I think the best test we can do is now live. Yeah. Hi, Nico. I have asked you previously if you sell the Lobo STL, how can I get it? Um, it's... Uh, I can probably sell it. I can probably sell it since I have done it. But uh, I guess it's better for you to just go to the course and make it by yourself and then print it. And then the print that you will do probably will not be as good as mine, most likely. Uh, I've seen one or two Lobos that are... Yeah, those um, Dimka Rus guy that uh, he's, he's making pretty nice things. So he is... Mm, his Lobo was nice. But even if it's not as good as mine, it will be yours. And when you print it, uh, it will be something that you have done. And it will be completely yours, you know. But if you really want to buy it, it's not a problem. Just, uh, you know, put me some personal message in Discord and we will think of something. It's not a big issue. Just go to the Discord. Uh, which should be in the description, but even if it's not. Uh, go to my other channel and in the latest video there, I think the link is working. Uh, because I uploaded it today, so it should work. The link there. But this one in this video should work too. I don't know. Uh, can somebody tell me if the link in this video, in the bottom of the description, should be around there. Uh, it's working. If it's working. The Discord link. How much money do you make with these courses? How much money do I make with these courses? I make uh, some months. I make enough money for living. Some months, uh, especially if I haven't r released a course in a while, like now, I make almost enough money for living. But uh, sometimes I do a uh, freelance, so it's kind of. Yeah, I will symmetrize it. It's kind of with the freelance that I do, I'm managing. I even can save some money. But I still, imagine that. I'm making courses for three years now. Three all years. I don't have money for half an apartment even yet. I haven't saved for half an apartment yet. So it's um, pretty, pretty expensive and also... Yeah, it's, the living is expensive even now. It's starting to get very, very expensive. Everything is expensive. But at least I'm trying to save almost every month. This month I probably will not be able to save since the courses are not selling that well this month. And I haven't released uh, a course. And the latest course I released was last month, but no, it was February. But it was not very successful we may say some courses are successful if for example i want to make quick money or not quick but if i want to make money i will make a course for a very beautiful female warrior for example and it will sell like crazy like the demon huntress was very successful course of course now uh almost one year after i released it it's it's doing fine i mean it's not the best it's not the worst there are much worse courses some of my ZBrush courses are making like $50 a month, which is bad, which is pretty bad. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's relatively fine. Okay, let's make some body. Let's just make some body. Relatively body. <laughs> and we'll see what will happen. Maybe before the body, some questions. Nico, when sculpting, I have to specifically choose an object every time how to fix it. Like, if there are two objects, specifically choose one. Yeah, Alt-Q uh, in Blender. You can just Alt-Q on the object you want to choose. It's easy. Hello, Nico, I missed the course to arc the best teacher. What? I miss the course to arc the best teacher. You missed the course to arc. In the arc academy, you mean? Yeah, but uh, you don't need to. I mean, the yeah, this online course probably you mean. Uh, we are thinking with Arc Academy here in Bulgaria, which is uh, 
it's it's Bulgarian Academy for game art and game stuff. They have game design and whatever. So we are thinking now in the process of thinking how to make an international Blender course, which will be live. So people will uh, pay some certain amount of money, and for example, Wednesday evening we will go to a Zoom chat or whatever, and I will sculpt something. And we will talk about it. Everybody will be live. It will be interesting, but we have to, you know, figure it out. It's in the process of figuring out right now. Nico gave give him a bad review. Yeah, if the creators could give reviews for their reviewers, uh, it, it it's not gonna be fair. I mean, uh, you know. Nobody will be able to give a really deserved bad review, for example. Because some people, I guess, deserve bad reviews. Nobody can be perfect. And not every course probably is very, very cool or very nice, I guess. So, there should be bad reviews. All right. And also, yeah, it's, it's a personal opinion. You know, everybody can have that. They're like assholes. Everybody can have one. And it's, it's okay, it's okay. It hurts me, yeah. I'm crying at night when I remember those reviews, you know, those bad reviews. Uh, but uh, it's okay. Because, you know, even if I say like, it's outrageous, how can they do that? It hurts me so much. Uh, it, it's, uh, I'm not gonna be able to feed my family or uh, stuff like this. It's worthless. I mean, uh, you cannot do anything about it. It's just, it's, it is what it is. The guy has decided to do this, and you are just, you know, cannot do anything about it, and it's fine. I'm trying to think how to do the head here exactly. Maybe a little bit thinner. If the guy, the guy's body is thinner. We have to make the head thinner. But we'll see. We need something like this. Ooh, this is strange. But we'll do it. There will be some tests and we will develop something here. Something like a body. We have time. We're in a 22 minute mark. And we have a head with the body already, so I think we are okay. We will be fine. It's not a problem for us. Do you ever consider doing Frank Horrigan? Hear that you like the game. Haha. <laughs> oh, Frank Horrigan from the second Fallout, yeah. The final boss. He's He was a pretty tough guy. I mean, yeah, there's, there are ways to beat him easy. I mean, without any issues. You have to have a little bit more science and uh, charisma, but <laughs> it's okay. Can you make a living selling 3D models? Ah, can you make a living selling 3D models? Probably yes, but you have to develop this a uh, long time. You have to have a YouTube channel with a lot of, or Instagram with a lot of people following you, active people, and you have to be active. Mm, I think there are people with Patreons that are making 3D models and they're selling them. And each month they release another one. And those of, those of them who are good, modelers, and there are uh, some that are very good, I think they are making good money. Because, for example, I saw a guy, I think I saw a guy who is selling models like this, and every month he is selling another one, he is making another model, so every month he is making a new model, and his Patreon was something around $4,000 uh, $4, a month he is getting from Patreon. So I guess you can say that it's a good living for this amount of money. I don't know how it is in Western Europe, but in my country, $4,000 a month is a good, very good, uh, you know, salary. In most countries, it will be a good salary, probably in Switzerland or Finland or some other expensive countries. Even France is pretty expensive. Probably there, this will be good money, but not very good money. 4000 a month. So, yeah. So for $4,000 a month, uh, those guys are, they have a big 
kind of Instagram following or Facebook following, I don't know. And they are, uh, each month, they are spending like 100 hours. So in about two weeks, for example, they are doing a character. And the characters are pretty nice. There are some famous characters. Maybe there is a Batman, there is a Wolverine or whatever. And at the end, they're putting it in their Patreon for the Patreons. And those patrons are paying monthly to, you know, to have the access to those characters, which is great. I mean, it's okay. But in order to do this, you have to be good, definitely. And you have to devote time for this. If you stop, even for two months, uh, some of the people will just leave. And you will be left with less money. And you will have to, you know, start all over to, you know, say, okay, come on again. I'm here. I will do models and stuff. So you have to do it constantly. Also, they probably have also freelance. So those $4,000 a month are just part of their income most of the time. So it's it's pretty cool. I would say it's, it's fine. You can do a living, but um, there are not many people who can do it because there are not many people who are that good. So it's it's not difficult. It's not easy. For example, let's say, can you make money by playing football? Yeah, you can make super big amounts of money, but you have to be one of the best. And that's not easy. That's not easy at all. Many people want to do it. I'm sure that a lot of people in Brazil, for example, a lot of kids are playing football and they want to, they dream about being Ronaldo or uh, or Messi or whatever, but it's, Messi is in Argentina, but whatever. I think that he should have following in Brazil too. Uh, the idea is that it's it's the same here. You have to have the talent a little bit, and the talent is nothing more. Uh, let's give the definition of a talent. Talent is nothing more, but just the ability to learn faster a certain topic than the other people. So you are spending uh, the same time as the other guy. But you are learning faster because you have the talent for this. But you have to still spend uh, enormous amount of time to become good in something. Except for mid-journey, by the way. In mid-journey, you don't have to spend too much time. You can be good in mid-journey for a week, for example. If you spend 40 hours in mid-journey, watching videos about mid-journey, and uh, just practicing mid-journey, just trying a few things, I think in 40 hours you will be very, very good in mid-journey. You cannot do this uh, with anatomy, for example. If you uh, want to be very good in sculpting human anatomy, you have to spend like 4,000 hours, not 40 hours. And still, you may not be one of the best. You definitely will not be. But in mid-journey for 40 hours, deliberately learning, you can be very good. So. There are things, I'm sorry that I'm picking my nose constantly, but uh, it's just, uh, you know, tickles me. I have a lot of nose hair inside, and when it starts to, you know, to grow a lot, and it starts to tickle the opposite side of the of the nostril, you know, the nostril is like this, and the, the, the hair is growing, 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 and starts to tickle the other side, like, a little bit. And it's like, come on. You know? I love Blender for modeling clothes. I, uh, have you also noticed that working with vertexes is more comfortable in Blender than ZBrush? Uh, yes, of course, because it's a normal 3D program. Although I have learned when I was working with ZBrush, I have learned to do very fast hard surface modeling in ZBrush. And it's pretty easy if you master the ZModeler brush. The ZModeler brush is amazing and you can do hard surface stuff some hard surface stuff, a lot of it, way faster or at least at the same speed as in Blender, for example, or in Max, uh, especially in Max, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very, very easy. But you have to master it. It's, uh, it takes some time. And I have mastered it and I have, a I have courses where I show it, how to make weapons, how to make a lot of hard surface stuff, everything in ZBrush. So ZBrush is amazing. It it's definitely is, but it's paid. And now they want more money. And they will want more money because, uh, you know, back in the days when ZBrush was Pixelogic, there were a company that, uh, well, they were not a big company. They were not working just for the money. 
they were a little bit more like ent enthusiastic. That's why they failed. I mean, that's why they sell themselves to uh, Maxon, because this is not a profitable model. And at some point you can bankrupt. But Maxon is not like this. They are huge corporation and they're doing everything for the money. So, you know, they will always want you to subscribe, for example, to give them more money. And yeah, that's a little bit sad, but that's how the world works. If you want a good product, you will either go to Blender or pay money for Max uh, to Maxon. That's the way it is. I chose Blender, as you probably notice. Because uh, most of the things that I want, I mean, uh, some some guy today said that I probably am, uh, you know, doing tutorials for Blender, but using ZBrush for work, which is not exactly the case. I haven't opened ZBrush in a couple of months. And last year, 2022, I opened ZBrush, I think for uh, not more than three or four hours for the whole year. So I'm not using ZBrush for nothing. I just opened it for some uh, 3D print or some files that I had to see and uh, just work on a little bit in ZBrush. But other than that, I'm using only Blender and only Blender for everything. Freelance, doesn't matter, everything. And this year I had some freelancers, by the way. Uh, already I have, I had one <laughs> freelance this year. So we are now April, so the fourth month of the year. And I had one freelance, mm, not very big one uh, also, but probably this year is just a uh, week or I'm uh, too expensive for the people. I don't know, something, there is something. Yeah, I was going to say not in Switzerland. You can sneak by here, but not support the family. Exactly, exactly. Uh, with this amount of money, for example, in Egypt, you will be very well in some uh, in Turkey, you will be very well in Bulgaria, in Ukraine, in Russia, even with $4,000 a month, you will be very well. But in some countries, you will be just uh, in the brink of existence, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rich countries, poor countries, you know how it is. That's the thing. Learn English first. Learn English. You want me to learn English, really? You don't understand my perfect English. How, how is this happening? I don't know what is happening here. For Zimmer, you need to have keyboard with reinforced space button to survive. Uh, for Zimmer, yeah, Zimmer is, but yes, uh, the space is usually reinforced. I'm using the same keyboard, by the way, for the last, let's say, 10 years. I haven't changed my keyboard and it's uh, looking not very well, but it's working perfectly. So I guess it's not a problem for the keyboard, uh, for the keyboard. The zero, the zero measure is not a problem for the keyboard. Now, for example, with my way of working in Blender, I have to have reinforced Alt, Control and Shift uh, because I'm constantly pressing them while I'm rotating, while I'm zooming. It's all Alt, Control and Shift. So, but still it's working without any issues. This is Logitech. No, uh, my uh, keyboard, I'm sorry. Now it's Microsoft. I don't know why I bought Microsoft keyboard, but it's Microsoft. I usually buy Logitech products. My mouse is Logitech. My tablet is not Logitech <laughs> because tablets are Wacom, you know, and uh, everybody else. Wacom is like the Mer Mer Mercedes of tablets, in my opinion. And it has uh, lower models, like I'm using, but still, they are better than the competition, I heard. I haven't tried the competition that much, but I heard that they're better. Better. They're better. So it's good. Blender rules. <laughs> Hi, Nico. I ask for your opinion. I have been working with 3D Max for almost two years, but I noticed that Blender is becoming more and more popular. Is it worth ditching 3D Max and switching to Blender? Yes, I think it's worth. So the, the only reason... Uh, since you know already 3D Max, uh, it's good for you because, for example, you switch to Blender, you start working with Blender, you will notice that 
when you learn the shortcuts and everything you will be way faster in blender modeling and stuff but at some point if you have to get a job and they require you to know 3d max you will be very fast to just jump on and uh, you know work with 3d max because you have already worked with it so it's in my opinion it's worth getting into blender especially if you want or if you will work it's in some indie studio or something like this because in the indie studios i think blender is pretty big right now and it's absolutely logical you know they are uh, indie studios they don't have too much money most of the money they have they spend on their people uh, for paying salaries and they don't want to spend a lot, a lot on software and everything basically in 3d can be done with blender you can do modeling you can do sculpting you can do animation you can do even some other stuff like composing so you can do a lot of things almost everything in 3d probably everything mm, even some effects i think you can do so why should you pay thousands of dollars for 3d max or maya licenses or zbrush instead of just getting blender and start working it's you know it's inevitable for all the small studios to adopt blender but uh remember that some of the st small, sm st small studios today they will be the biggest studios of tomorrow for example how did ubisoft start it probably it, it hasn't started as a big corporation right away probably it was a little bit of a small studio in the beginning i'm not sure exactly but I imagine some of the big studios today were small indie studios, but suddenly their game kind of, you know, boomed and they become big. And they still will work with Blender because they started with Blender. Why should they change? And uh, suddenly, after 10 years, some of the new big players on the market will be working with Blender. And as I said already a couple of times, but I will say it again, uh, Gameloft is, especially the Sofia studio here in Bulgaria, is kind of looking into just moving into Blender more and more. Which means that some of the big studios also are kind of going into that direction since it's a little bit more free, let's say. Yeah, we may say we may say it's a little bit more free blender nico is there any chance that you will make an anime sculpting course why not i mean i uh, can make a sculpting course for everything um yeah as long as it's sculpting you know because i'm sculpting your student from japan hello japan i was in japan by the way i was in tokyo and kyoto it was very cool yeah speed chart life is it possible to study a course without knowledge of english probably it's possible but it will be a little bit more difficult you have to look what i'm doing and just try to develop it uh, try to do it by the way there are already softwares that can translate for you you have to just uh, search for it uh, you know real time they can translate they can make real time um subtitles so I think it's it's very easy these days for everybody to study in any language. You just have to, you know, search. Have you ever used a space mouse or something like that? It's an alternative mouse made for 2D, 3D crea creators in case you don't know what it is. A lot of people say it's great. No, I haven't. I was saying learn English to the previous guy that was asking. Okay, okay, thank you. I, uh, I was not thinking that you were insulting me. But even if you have, it's not a big issue. Since we all know haters will always hate, you know. And we cannot change that. So why should be angry? Uh, why should we be angry about it that much? I mean, we can be angry a little bit. But we cannot be super angry about it. Because they will win if we are. And we don't want them to win, right? Yeah. We don't want them to win. Subdivision surface. All right. 
and A, Shift E. Yeah, I haven't forget how to do that. It's cool. Uh, I haven't sculpted in a while, we may say. Uh, today and yesterday, I've sculpted a little bit. But before that, I haven't sculpted for a week and a half or something. But for me, it's not a big deal. Because I have so many years of experience that uh, I need just uh, half an hour and I get back into the train, you know. Back into the ship or whatever. Back into whatever you want. I get back everywhere. I think the Slavs perfectly understand the English of Nico. Yeah, I also think that. Uh, because my English, uh, of course, is Slavic uh, English, we may say. My English is very, very understandable for Slavic people. People from Serbia, people from Romania, which are not Slavic, by the way, but the accent is very similar. I don't know why. Probably because we are close by. Uh, people from Czechoslovakia, people from Poland, people from Ukraine and Russia, they understand me very well. Very, 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 very well. Nico, you know what happens when I see uh, you somewhere. We're gonna sit, eat some fat chevap <laughs> and drink rakia. Oh, rakia, yeah. No living before drink you bot your bottle, Nico. Ooh, kralju. Mm. But of a thank for everything you do for us. Thank you very much. Yeah, I try to not drink too much. For example, when I sit uh, in a restaurant or something, I drink... At most, I drink like 200 grams of uh, hardcore alcohol, like rakia. I always drink rakia. So rakia is the Slavic, uh, and also not only Slavic, because Turkish people, they also have rak rakia. And uh, it's, I think it's come, it comes from there, but uh, it's not un unusual, because we were under Ottoman rule. The Ottomans were, before, the, before it became Turkey, it was Ottoman Empire. So Ottoman Empire was ruling Bulgaria, my country, for 500 years. So uh, that's why we have a lot of things which are Arabic and Turkish. I mean like Musaka uh, and uh, Kufte and some other things. We have dinners on every corner. But ha, even when I was in Tokyo, uh, they had a lot of dinners there. I mean Turkish dinners they have. Or Arabic dinners, we may say, uh, in Tokyo. So, they are everywhere these days. But I like them a lot. I like dinners. Very much. Every time I go to the ARC Academy to teach, in the Saturdays, in the morning, I go through some of the, some dinner place, and I get a small chicken dinner, not small, a medium chicken dinner, chicken dinner with additional egg. And it's just amazing. I'm starting to get hungry, by the way, which is not a good thing because it's late. And I don't like to eat late. So I have to stop talking about food. But the Turkish people... I mean, Turkish food is probably one of the best in the world. Uh, hands down. Uh, yeah, Italian food also is very nice, and uh, I like a lot the Thai food, and Indian also. Turkish food is like, what hell? They know how to cook, you know. They know how to make meat, they know how to make salads, they know how to make desserts. Amazing desserts. They know how to make everything. And they're comshus. Comshu. Oh, the, the fingers are nice. I mean, they're long, with nails. You know, amazing. What is this mirror modifier? Oh no, it's not on this. Okay, mirror here. Amazing, very nice, very nice. Very good, very nice. I don't know, uh, I don't exactly want to make legs. But since we have time, I will probably make them. Hello from United Arab Emirates. Hello guys. Are you going to give it a main? I don't know what is this. What do you do when you need to use divide? Oh, I, I, wow, 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 those comments are cutting my, I cannot see the, the rest. Real-time subtitles for different languages sounds like a good use of AI. Okay, 
What do you do when you need to use divide in Blender? I try sculpt in Blender, it's too slow after divide. Uh, you have to divide it very carefully. That's, that's, I always say that. You have to be very careful. You have to always mm, manage your di divisions. And also, if you're using a laptop without a nice video card, you have to be even more careful. Because even I, with a good video card, relatively good, my video card is 2080. 2080, which like four years ago was one of the best video cards. Or five years ago. I'm not sure how many years ago, but there were a lot of years ago. But it was very nice. It was uh, one of the best video cards back in the days. Now it's not. But that's why it's cheap. And uh, that's why I bought it. Uh, but I didn't bought it, by the way. Uh, I was... It was a gift from a guy from uh, uh, from South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. But still, uh, it's not very expensive card right now. 2080. And it's a good buy, in my opinion. But if you are using a laptop, usually you have to be very careful with your port account in Blender. In ZBrush, not so much. Mm, that's the problem with uh, with Blender, by the way. You need to be careful with the port account. In ZBrush, you don't have to be careful with the port account. You can be not so careful. But still, with a lower level computer, you have to be careful even in ZBrush. Not so much as in Blender, though. In Blender, it's too much. Even NVIDIA supports Blender, yeah. Nico, do you make good money with freelance? Have you worked in collectibles industry? I have worked once for a guy that is making collectibles, and I did um, this villain from Spider-Man, which is the Rhino, and he paid me for that, and then I did him... Um, I think I did him Wolverine, and I gave it to him. I didn't finish it quite much, but I gave it to him, and he didn't pay me. So that's my experience with the, with the collectibles industry. You have to be careful sometimes. And um, yeah. And the freelance, how much money I did. I did one freelance this year, which was recently. It was a character for some kind of advertisement. I cannot say what it is exactly. But I got like $600 for it. So this was this is my only freelance this year. There are other freelancers that are coming, probably, but until they are finalized, I cannot exactly say that I have made them, since I haven't, really. I haven't, I haven't got any other money from freelance. So freelance this year, for me, is not exactly a big source of income. It's different, it's different. I set volume to 75, please don't scream. Oh, because people tell me that uh, it's uh, it's low. So yeah, not only Slavs but Germanic people also understand you. At least I do. Yeah, I think even people from England can understand me if they listen for more than ten minutes. If they kind of get the accent. Yeah, I'm from Turkey. Yeah, there are a lot of people from Turkey. I know very much. Yeah, Merhaba, Merhaba Nasılsın, uh, Gilberta. Ah, I know it. I'm from Brazil and Nikos English feels easier for me to understand uh, than most people. Maybe you can say than mo most people, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. My Serbian friends love Rakia. Yeah, Serbians, uh, they have very nice Duleva Rakia. From Dule. Duleva. Dule is, um, I don't know how it is in English, Dule. But it's something like a pier, but a little bit harder it's it's a harder fruit it looks like a pear pear is the thing which is like an apple but it's elongated apple you know pear it's very sweet and very nice but the dula is it looks like a pear but sometimes it's bigger and it's very hard and i don't like it that much but the dula varakia that serbians make it's not bad at all i would say it's very very good we don't make this in Bulgaria that much, but they're making it in Serbia. It's very cool. Have you ever had Turkish Raki? Of course I have. I have tried Turkish Raki 
it's similar to Bulgarian, by the way. And I have tried uh, even Chinese rak rakia, which is not called rakia, of course. It's I don't know how it's called. It's made from rice, and it's it smells the same as the Bulgarian one and the Serbian one and every other one. But when you taste it, it leaves you a little bit of a rizy taste, a little bit. It's not sake, no. Don't mis don't make a mistake. Sake is uh, the Japan something like a wine. It's uh, much less alcoholic. I'm talking about 40 degrees of alcohol here. This thing like rakia that I tasted in Japan, and I have it here. Even uh, I bring I bring some bottles here with me. I have them in the kitchen because I don't drink at home that much. I brought them here and I don't drink them. Turks origin comes from North Asia. Yeah, probably. You know more types of food than me. I don't know exactly. Uh, I've heard Nico tell the sweet word Karalo. What is this? Don't know what it means. Dick in Portuguese. Ah. It means dick in Portuguese. What is Karalo? Karalo? Hmm. Why did I say this word? I will start selling 3D models. Do you think it's a good idea? And it, is it worth it? Yeah, if you're good in 3D, if you make like very nice models, of course, it's a good idea. And at some point when you get popular, um, you will get good money. But I suggest you make uh, a Patreon because in Patreon, I think you can sell um, like Wolverine models or Batman models without too much problems. Probably if you sell them on on certain websites that are selling 3d models and you try to sell those kind of models which are let's say licensed probably you will have issues that's why they are selling them on patreon and not exactly selling them they are giving them up to the patreons it's not exactly selling that's why it's a little bit of a gray area and probably they are getting away with it and i think they are they are getting away with it This guy is ripped. Yeah. But uh, yeah, many people wanted a little bit, you know, not so bulky, ultra, you know, huge guy. And this guy is something like this. He's not as bulky, although he's still not very thin. But it's he's thinner than most other people that I'm making, other guys, other concepts. Because I like to make very bulky and very strong guys, you know. Yeah. Polish food is my favorite besides home cooking. I love many things from Russian cuisine, also from, from Polish, I don't know. I haven't been there. I, I don't know exactly what is, especially in Polish, which is not in other uh, kitchens or cuisines. I'm not sure exactly. Because in Bulgaria, for example, if you ask me what is typical Bulgarian dish, I will not be able to tell you because we have a lot of things which are which uh, Greeks have, which uh, Turks have, which even e Egyptians have. We have a lot of those things. And many people in Bulgaria that haven't gone out of Bulgaria, they think that those are specific and traditional Bulgarian dishes, but they're not. Like moussaka, for example. In in Egypt, they call it moussa. In, um, I don't know how they call it in Turkey exactly, but I, I think it's something like similar. Moussaka or something. So, uh, and many people in Bulgaria think that moussaka is traditional Bulgarian uh, food, which is not. And there are other things. But banitsa, for example, it's it's pretty good, but still, it's I think it's Turkish, the banitsa. I, I don't know it's, if the Turkish is calling it banitsa or similar name, but it's, uh, I think I saw similar thing in Turkish. It's some kind of a breakfast, and uh, it was very good, so I guess... Most of the foods we have are Turkish. So we have a very good cuisine too because uh, the Turkish is very good and we have the same, similar, not same. But we have a lot of similar foods or dishes, we may say. And probably that's why I like it so much. I like Arabic, Arabic food. I like a little bit spicy. 
uh, although not too much spicy. And the Thai food and the Indian food, I like it a lot. But I'm trying to explain to them to make it less, a little bit less spicy than they eat it. When I was in Thailand, uh, I was in Phuket in one very small hotel. It was not in the main hotels area. It was back in the other part of the island. But it was very cool. And uh, in the in the evening, I was talking with the hosts, with the hotel owners. And they asked me if I want something like a soup or something to eat. And they offered me a shrimp soup. And um, I said, okay, yeah, shrimp soup is cool. But make it half spicy, at least half. Maybe even less than half spicy. They said, no problem, it's okay. And then they gave it to me. I went to my uh, room. Outside of the room, there is a, something like a terrace. And I sit there and I start eating. Ah, it was very, very hot. It was super hot. And um, yeah, I managed to eat the shrimps. But the soup, uh, it was too hot. And uh, my friend from Bulgaria, we were, uh, he was with his family. I was alone there. He was with his family and... He came and said, hey, what are you doing? I'm eating this soup here, uh, but it's too hot for me. He said, let me try it. And he just ate it without any issue. For him, it was not that hot. Some people in Bulgaria are eating very, very, very much hot. Some not so much. There are people even in Bulgaria, since I told you I'm eating moderately hot. And this soup was very hot for me. There was... Uh, an occasion I was with a fellow sculptor, digital sculptor like me, but even better than me. We were in a restaurant and we were eating because we were colleagues and in the in the break we we're going down to the restaurant and we're eating and we're eating some kind of burgers. And he's eating the burger and he said, oh, this is very spicy. And I, I eat mine, which is the same, I mean the same burger, and it was not spicy at all. I didn't feel even just the slightest of spice. And I said, okay, give me a piece of your burger. And he gave me, and I ate it. Not spicy at all. So his uh, perception of spice is too much. I mean, he cannot eat spicy at all. So there are people who cannot eat spicy at all. There are people who can eat uh, like uh, acid, battery acid, without too much issue. I saw, by the way, in this show, um, which is uh, very popular in YouTube, that they are eating spicy wings and they are inviting famous people. And David Blaine, the magician, was there. He was there. Uh, you can watch this and you can watch the other people. There is no even one other guy who ate everything without even flinch a muscle. David Blaine ate all the wings up to the last sauce which is the hottest sauce of them all no not the last the the bump i think was the sauce that was destroying everybody everybody when they get to the bomb was like crying and <laughs> and drinking milk and stuff and david blaine just ate the bomb and was like this no problem and then ate the other one which has to be even hotter no issues then he put a lot of the last one to the last wing, ate it, no issues. So there are people like this. They're very used to put uh, strange things in their mouth, we may say. Let's see the silhouette from the side view. It looks very good. So this could be a nice character for a video game, for example. I think it's a good character for a video game or could be it's not yet but it could be it has a good silhouette so it could work <laughs> my blender usually crashes if i apply solidify and subdivision surface but it works for the most of the time you have to you have to notice uh how it works you have to feel it a little bit because when i I said it in the today's video for my other channel, which I in which I did this head, by the way. But I explained a little bit more how I do it and what do I look on the in the concept and stuff like this. So it's cool. But the idea is that uh, when I was sometimes without noticing, going like, yeah, R, 
and then going down to 0 0.301 and then suddenly apply it and then just my computer freezes and my laptop too. Uh, I did it once on my computer or at least maybe twice and I did it once with my laptop and I just waited for like 10 or 15 minutes and nothing changes, it was frozen. So I just had to restart from from the bottom. Uh, so you have to be careful. And my laptop is very powerful. I mean, it's 64 gigabytes of RAM, the laptop, and it has a video card is 2070, and the processor is Ryzen with, uh, I think, 12 cores, which means 24 cores, uh, 24 threads, because it's double. In this case, it's a desktop processor in a laptop and the power supply is pretty big and the battery lasts for when it was new, it lasted 40 minutes only because it's like it, it's like ultra powerful laptop. It's small one, like uh, 16 inch, but it's, it's a, it's a beast, but even the beast, when you go to this amount of polygons, it just freezes. So blender is, you know, it's free. So we are okay with all those things without too much of an issue. At least I am. You should be too, because it's free. We can forgive a lot of things on the free program, uh, but we cannot forgive a lot of things on ZBrush. I don't know if there is something to forgive in ZBrush, by the way. ZBrush is a pretty cool program. The only flaw ZBrush that has is that it's paid. <laughs> It shouldn't be paid. We have to free ZBrush. Which web platform do you think is best for a beginner freelancer? For a beginner freelancer? I don't know exactly. I haven't been there. Uh, there are certain sites, websites, where you can offer your services. And for example, for one 3D model, I will do it for let's say uh, $150 and people can approach you, they can give you the task, they can pay you the money and they, they can write you a review after that. And if you gather enough good reviews and stuff like this, but in every platform, I think the main problem is that in the beginning, you will not be famous in that platform. You will not be known and it will be difficult to make a name in whatever platform you are. So, that's the problem in the it will be difficult to start when you start and when you gather some momentum it will be much easier after after that in the beginning it will be start it will be difficult you have to rely uh, for food on your parents mostly or some other job and work in the nights or, or in the weekends for example but it could be worth it i mean how did uh, long did it take you to learn English? Uh, my whole life, and I'm still haven't uh, learned it that much. You know, as you can see, I don't speak perfect English. My um, tenses are not very good. When I try to say something in the past or in the future, I made made some uh, honest mistakes. But even I think native speakers sometimes they can make mistakes, so it's fine. <clears throat> if you have a monster laptop, Retopo is okay. Hello from Ukraine. Thank you for your lessons. You have one of the best Blender channels, in my opinion. Uh, my channel, maybe it's not one of the best Blender channels, but it's maybe one of the best Blender sculpting channels, because there are not too many of those. And especially when you consider that, uh, for example, Flycat, which is another guy who is making very nice models in Blender, but he's not, not talking that much. I mean, most of his videos are only time lapses and you can learn something from the time lapse, but probably you can learn more from a guy who is constantly speaking like me, probably. I am speaking constantly though, yeah. Yeah, I'm speaking a lot. I have to shut up probably. No, I'm not, <laughs> I, I will not. Hi Nico, great fan. How long does it take to sculpt like you, starting from zero? How many years in real? 
yeah, if you are working, if you are sculpting and practicing for 10 hours every day, uh, to reach my level, it will take you no more than two years, probably. But you have to not stop. Uh, it took me like more than 10 years to reach this level. Uh, but because I haven't been that uh, persistent. If I was, yeah, probably it will be much, much faster than 10 years, what I'm saying. But less than two years, uh, it will be almost impossible to reach a good level. It's not completely impossible. If you have an art background, for example, like Mr. Guerra, I always give him as an example because uh, it's uh, very interesting. So, Mr. Guerra from Brazil, I have an interview with him, by the way, in this channel, so you can check it out. Uh, <coughs> Gabriel Guerra. So, he started in the summer of 2021, so two years back, even not two years back, I think, he started <coughs> learning 3D with a mouse. So, he worked like a month and a half with a mouse, and then he bought a tablet, or he was given a tablet, I'm not sure. And he started with the tablet, and after seven months of constant working, constant practicing, he got a job in the industry, like a freelance or something, because he was that good already. But he was drawing before that. His drawings were not very, very good, but he has this kind of a art background a little bit. So it's probably important to have it, I'm not sure. <clears throat> How much time we have? Oh, it's just one hour. I don't know if I want to make legs, by the way. But since I don't want to make legs, I will make legs. Because, you know, it's like something that you don't want to do that much. Because it's like, um, let's say it's maybe something like a weak point or whatever. And you don't want to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it even more than the other things. Because only this way you will get better. That's why we will do some legs now. By the way, if you want to learn how to do legs, or if you want to learn a little bit better how to do legs, probably you can go to my other channel, just the speed chart, and look at one of the latest videos, which is exactly about leg anatomy and how to sculpt legs. It's a short video, but it's... I think there are a lot of useful things there. Many of you have probably watched it already, but still, you can watch it a couple of times because those anatomy videos, they are not to be watched just once. They are to be watched for many, many times. Watch, practice, watch, practice, practice and watch at the same time. Stuff like this. Musakai, yes, exactly. Here from Brazil, Nikolai, I like your work, a huge hug. Thank you very much, David. I recently had a Bulgarian thing called a princess doll sandwich. Exactly, pretty much meat on bread, yummy. Oh, it's very nice. The princess, or stranjanka uh, at some places they call it, it's just amazing. It's a, a meat, but this kind of a, a, you know, crushed meat on bread with a little bit of the meat is mixed with i think they mix it with egg and you spread it on the piece of bread a big piece of bread usually and then you bake it and it's just hell my uh, amazing just amazing and i'm not sure it's completely bulgarian again because you cannot say we have a lot of influence here we are in the crossroad a little bit so yeah Will you make a skinny guy, really skinny, you know, streams? Or fat, with lots of fat? Yep, about the fat, I have to practice. I have to find references, and I have to practice. I cannot just imagine it, because I haven't done too much fat, people, in my gaming career. When I was working for a game company, uh, for Gameloft, not too many fat people were required. Mostly, agile muscular, or very muscular, and that's it. Not normal, not fat, not super skinny, no. 
So, yeah, you know, what is required, that's what we do. And now I'm doing an interesting leg, which is animal leg a little bit. But yeah, so the concept, the concept is very cool, is from this guy, let me show you, it's in the description of course, but I will show it, why not, I can, where is my mouse, I cannot see my mouse, no, I see it there, but it's not here, okay, <laughs> I'm a little bit confused, so this is the concept, guy, it's Dante Fugit, let's see, or Fugit, I'm not sure, but fuck it, it's, uh, uh, no, no, I'm not insulting the guy, he's a good artist, so, yeah, Interesting things he has. He is even uh, sculpting. Yeah. Nah, it's not the best, but he's trying, which is great. Or he was at least. Now, what is he doing? He's doing this. Yeah. Not bad. The armor is cool. But the AI is better. Yeah. But still. Yeah. A samurai girl. By the way, I can do something like this for some of the courses, some of the next courses. I've been pretty lazy uh, lately. I have to start the course with the Viking, but I uh, just am lazy, you know. So yeah, he has interesting things, but those particular heads of uh, some, uh, you know, it's Kera Head Studies, you know, are very, very cool. And I like them, that's why I did them. Uh, one of them, of course. Only one. What is the name of your other channel? So this channel name is Speechar Life. The other channel is named just Speechar. Without life. It's lifeless channel. That's, channel, that's why. It's just lifeless. Yeah, No life in that channel. But uh, yeah, today I did a video for the other channel. And the other channel is mostly for educational videos. This one is more for... Fun videos, although you can find them educational if you want. Some people find them educational. I noticed. Which is great. If you find them educational. I am uh, completely for it. I'm all for it. No problem. The head looks a bit too small. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course, always. Just 30 minutes, like, just 30 minutes. Yeah. I can make a leg for less than 30 minutes even. But it's, it will not be good. I mean, f if you spend more time uh, watching some references and stuff. I, I don't watch references now. Because I have done it so many times. That I kind of know what I'm doing. Not completely, but I know what I'm doing. Let's say I know. I know. Uh, but for most people, it will be better if they just watch references. It will be much better with references. And now, even for me, here, I need some reference because I completely forgot how this uh, thing works in here, in this area. So, yeah, references will be nice. They're always nice, by the way. And uh, my mistake probably is, as a teacher, I have to teach you always to use references. And I always say that. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm always using them. But when I'm trying to get better in anatomy, I'm definitely using a lot of references, always. Except for the times that I want to check my knowledge. How am I doing? So, I'm using references, I'm doing, 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 and then I do one sculpt without references. Just to see what I have remembered. Which I recommend, again, to do. In my anatomy videos, I recommend this type of uh, training. My latest anatomy course is for the heads. And it's uh, very well received. I mean, people are liking it. And I think it's one of the kind. I don't know that there is another course that can teach you head anatomy. Or it's not exactly only anatomy, but sculpting and forms and everything. Uh, there is no other course. Because in most courses, you're doing just one head and you're concentrated in one head and you're doing it during the course, long hours, just clicking here and there and stuff like this. In my course, you're doing 
two skulls, at least two. I think there were at least two skulls. A uh, couple of male heads. A uh, couple of heads from planes. From different... Uh, you know, from different references. Couple of heads, uh, female heads. And even some student heads, uh, you know, feedbacks. So there are a lot of things like common mistakes and everything. You cannot find that in other courses, I think. But if I'm mistaken, you can say it. It's not, you know, I can be mistaken. I'm not an AI. I'm a human. And even AI is making mistakes. So it's normal for the human to make them too, you know. I'm just a human. That's a very good uh, excuse, by the way. I'm just a human. I can make mistakes, you know. You can make an excuse for everything with this. Yeah, why did you kill this guy? Because I'm just a human. I make mistakes, you know. Why did you get this, uh, the lollipop from this baby? <laughs> I'm human. I make mistakes. Why did you push the old lady in front of the train? Ah, just a human. Make mistakes, you know. It's normal. So it's easy. Easy to get away with everything, you know. Why did you rob this bank? Oh, human make mistakes, you know. I was walking down the street and suddenly a sock, a black sock, just come just from above and just come onto my head. And then I was not seeing well and I went into the bank, you know, I, I didn't know where I'm waiting. And when I was like, uh, how to remove the sock? And I grabbed the, the gun from the security guard guy. And, and then the police come. It's, it's just a big coincidence. I'm just a human. I make mistakes. Yeah. Hello from California. Los Angeles, California. Nico. Love all your videos and courses. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nico. I'm from India. Your rabbit beginner course is really good. Really? But it's not selling very well. The rabbit one. Which is it's the same as the mouse one. I just with another character. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the, the market is a little bit, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. As 3D is not a big of a thing here. It's at the starting. Okay. I'm a sculptor. It took me a day before I could do anything using the three brushes in the program. I one month to understand the program. I'm using ZBrush, but Blender is easier interface. Yeah, for most people, Blender is a little bit easier as an interface. ZBrush is strange, very strange. Uh, because I come from 3D Max background before I started ZBrush, I was using 3D Max mostly, and ZBrush was pretty difficult for me in the beginning. But then, of course, with practice, everything is like starting to get easier and easier it's it's uh, sometimes it's pretty easy we can make him even one tail why not we'll see why you steal this channel i don't know it's just me the the thief nico how many times do you get contacted by people to work for them on their game for free happened to me two, two times loved hard uh, for free these days I don't get contacted back in the days when I was not having this YouTube channels and everything I got contacted to work for free and I even worked for free it was a interesting experience uh, it was not technically for free it was for a percentage of uh, of the first sales of the game for example or something like this which means it will be for free because most of those games with this model never came out that's my opinion they just don't ever released get released but it's fine i mean uh, it's always good for a beginner artist to get this kind of experience um just to have this experience you know it's not bad in my opinion but nowadays i don't have any offers like this the ai in the future is going to hate that excuse i'm human sorry ai overload <laughs> overload ah ai overload yeah 
I'm now making your head ex exercises courses. I've been achieve amazing results sculpting for the first time. It's a great course. Yeah, thank you. And you could do a dragon or a girl course, so it will sell more. <laughs> yeah, the girl uh, girls courses are selling always more. So my female anatomy is selling more than my male anatomy. And the Demon Hunters course is selling well because it's a sexy girl, you know. Uh, this one. I have it here. Just the sword is broken, but other, other than that, it's fine. Lobo course, uh, for that matter, it's not selling very well anymore. In the beginning, it sold very well. It started well. But now it's it's not, not good. But the Lobo course is one of my best courses, I may say. And the figure that uh, uh, that was uh, printed by a guy here in Bulgaria and colored by him. It's not color, it's uh, black and white, but still it's painted amazingly. And I showed it in my Instagram. It's just superb. I mean, I love it. This is my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world. Maybe after my daughter and my wife, probably, and my son and my car. But, and some of my knives, no, no, maybe it's before some of my knives, because I'm a knife collector and I love my knives, you know, I just always have like five or six knives on my desks here and I just, you know, play with them a lot. They're less like uh, toys for me. Folding knives. I just like do this like, you know, folding knife, it's here, open, close, open close and I watch something like a video or something and I open close open close stuff like this I even have a knife channel by the way <laughs> I have a channel where I review knives yeah YouTube channel I have with uh, a, a little bit over 1000 uh, viewers I mean uh, subscribers yeah it's called Nico Hart I think Nico Hart because I'm hard you know because of the biceps. Yeah, I know. Uh, it sounds, Nico Hart sounds a little bit like a porn hero. Yes, I know. But it's normal because uh, I was a porn star back in the days when I was young. Nowadays, not so much. Although my, uh, my instrument is the same size as before when I was a porn star. Uh, I'm too old for this shit, you know. When I have kids and uh, wife and everything, you don't want to do this anymore, you know. And I'm joking. I I wasn't a poor star, but it would be nice if I would if I was right. It it would be very cool. Yeah, I would like it too. So that's one of the things that I'm sorry uh, that I haven't become a porn star in Bulgaria back in the days. It would be very cool now for my resume. Yeah, now I'm a 3D sculptor, but back in the days I was a porn star. And my nickname was Niku Hard. And I was very, very hard back in the days. Now I'm soft. I should rename my channel to Niku Soft. The channel with the knives, you know. But yeah. Head too small, isn't it? It's always too small, you know. Uh, but it's, it's, it's normal. I mean, when you have to have a certain hero, which is like very huge. For example, this guy is like three meters tall or two and a half meters tall. Uh, he will have a small head. If he will be a small guy, um, not so tall, then the head could be smaller. But we want him to be big. So, yeah. You could think about making a course about human anatomy. Skinny, normal, muscle, fat, female, male, all at one course. Oh, it will be difficult. Yeah, definitely worth buying, probably. But if I do such a course, it will be a long project. I will do it for half a year, probably. Just preparing for it. And uh, at the end, I will release it with a little bit of a bigger price tag. It will not be twenty dollars at like most of uh, the courses. It will be at least forty. Ooh, a lot of money, you know. Nico, do you have plans to create your own character and universe? Not quite. I have a little bit of a plans to make uh, original characters for the Warhammer universe, but some. A little bit more original ones but they are just plans for now not exactly something that I will do probably this year we'll see sir 
How do you overcome poorly count issue in Blender? 3D Code and ZBrush can handle 200 million with 4 gigabytes of memory, but Blender can't handle can't handle over 15 million. Yeah, exactly. My characters are rarely over 20 millions, and f in my computer, 20 million polygons in Blender are okay. I mean, it's a little bit of laggy, but it's not uh, too much. It's nothing like overwhelming. Uh, but I uh, just try to not go over that. I don't put too much detail and stuff. And even if you put detail, mm, you have to hide some of the things while you work on others. There are things that you can do, definitely. Upgrade your computer also. Or go into ZBrush. A lot of things you can do about it. Now, we are uh, one hour and something. We can color this guy a little bit. But let's combine the arms and the fingers because it will be nicer. It's always nicer if they are combined. Okay, now it's fine. It looks amazing. Let me just symmetrize them. Good. Very, very, very good. No, I'm not completely fan. Uh, there are a lot of things. Uh, since I'm doing this uh, streams for like two hours, and even less sometimes, the characters, um, you will get the impression that they are good or something. No, they are not. They are good enough for the stream, but they need a lot more work, for example, to be 3D printable or to be good for high poly, for uh, making a low poly, uh, for a game or something. They need a lot more hours of work. But I'm showing you how I do, how I manage to do just the, the first phase of the project, just the the 3D sketch phase, the most important thing to capture the silhouette, to capture the overall feeling of the concept, which is by far the most important thing. I mean, uh, many people say for the character artist, anatomy is the most important thing. But in my opinion, working from concept and being able to recreate the concept the best way, even better than the concept itself, if you can, yeah, this is the best uh tool that you have or the best skill but it's uh, almost equally hard to develop as the anatomy the anatomy maybe is a little bit harder we may say a little bit hard not too much nico why don't you buy a 3d printer to print your own models is it better to see the process and even less expense yeah, I have a 3D printer, by the way, already, uh, but uh, I haven't seen it because I have a guy who I trust completely. Uh, he was uh, a colleague of mine. He's still working in Gameloft, by the way. I'm not, but um, I trust him and I gave him the printer. I just uh, order it to his address and now he's operating it and he's making some prints for me. So, yeah, I have a printer if you... Need to know, you know, I have one. And it's a good one. I mean, it's a 8K something printer. So it's, I think it's good. Should be good. Hopefully it's good. Now I'm doing some certain, you know, certain lines here and there just to make it look more interesting. Just for the... For the thumbnail of the video, you know, it's always I always do that, you know, for the thumbnail. Let's do this for the thumbnail. Let's do this for the thumbnail. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. It's the best. Everybody, thumbnail. Ask me. Ask me some other questions. Yeah. Ask me. No problem. If I see the question, I will answer, or at least I will try. I think it's the best you have done yet, just to see apparently. I don't understand this. Show us your knives. Uh, it will be difficult, but if you go to my other channel, you will see some of my knives there. Because I made reviews of uh, the knives I have there. Uh, some of my recent knives, I haven't made the reviews, but I plan to start making uh, just short, like five minutes reviews again for my knives that I haven't reviewed yet. 
on the channel. Mm, the channel is, let me write it to you, it's Nico Hart. If you write Nico Hart in YouTube, probably it will came out at some point. It's Nico Hart. Should be like this. I'm not sure exactly. But there, even if you can see me as a younger guy, I have a video in Bulgarian, mm, which I show a sword. I have a samurai sword and I show this sword and I am uh, almost, uh, you can see the whole of me, but I'm speaking Bulgarian there. So if you want, if you are uh, curious how Bulgarian sounds, you can see it there. That's cool. And it's my oldest channel, by the way, oldest YouTube channel for the knives. My uh, 3D channels are younger than that. Nico Hart, something that sounds like porn. Yeah, exactly. I love that your streams are fun to watch while also feeling like a podcast. Well, keep up the good work, man. Yeah, podcast with one guy, you know, podcast, just me speaking to myself. Hey, Nico, do you have any suggestions for retopology or you have any course for that? Yeah, I think I'm retopologizing in my free course on my other channel, on the Speed Chart channel. I'm retopologizing there in the course. It has a separate section in the channel, uh, a separate, what was it called? I forgot, but the whole course is free in my channel and I'm making a whole character for a game, which by the way, the character is already in the game, but since I'm not working in the game loft, uh, and I'm not playing the game that much. I cannot unlock it and I cannot show it to you exactly But at some point I will probably show it to you locked the character, but it's in the game already with animations and everything It's very cool. So the character that I've done are Completely uh, live in YouTube in my other channel and I saw also sell the course but if you don't uh, want to give me money, you can just watch it in YouTube absolutely free. <laughs> and I don't blame you because when I was a student back in the days, I didn't have any money to give. So all the courses I have watched for 3D Max or Photoshop or everything, everything was pirated. I didn't give any money for courses back in the days. Now, for example, the best money I have given, I mean the the most money I have given are for the Proco anatomy course, which is the extension of his free YouTube course. And uh, it's very, very good. I love it. But it's also in the torrents, so yeah, I'm just saying. It's not I just saying, you know, just saying, it's okay. And my cruises are also in the in some torrents, especially the the Russian torrents, <laughs> the tracker, uh, cracker ru or ru tracker or whatever it, it was called. I'm not sure the Russian torrents, how they're called, but uh, yeah, I'm sure the my cruises are there too. And of course in CG Pierce. I don't know if I have to say CG Pierce, but I will say it anyway. Uh, but it's cool. Nico, what do you think of doing 30 day skill sculpting studies and practice? I'm on the seventh day now. I have been seeing improvement. I want to do the same with full male head and female head. I think this is a very good idea. And I want to see your uh, before and after. It will be very nice to see for everybody and inspiring too probably so yeah continue doing it and uh, just save some before and afters and we will see them if you show us of course and now you see with a little bit of poly paint it's a little bit it's starting to look better you know i'm making some shadows and stuff this is similar to painting the figures you are painting shadows, which some people think that it's what? Why are you painting shadows? But it's it's cool. I mean, it's for a static figure is very very nice to do so, to paint shadows. It's not a big issue. 
and uh, it's it's starting to get this kind of very nice uh not saturation but contrast nico how do you insert pores and skin texture i don't i just don't do this i don't do pores i, just, I don't do pores come on i don't do this <laughs> i do the nico from gta uh, uh, 4 yes i am i am that guy is it difficult to sculpt and speak at the same time no for me it's not uh, except for certain difficult things sometimes when i'm thinking how to do certain thing in my courses then i'm starting to stutter since my the, the english is not my birth language or mother tongue it's a little bit difficult but other than that it's fine for me <laughs> Uh, how many hours do you spend for sculpting? Curious to know for lifestyle. How many hours to spend for sculpting? If you want to get better quickly, you have to spend all the hours. Uh, if you want to get better very slow, you can spend like one or two hours a day. But one or two hours a day is the minimum. I mean, the minimum for every day to sculpt is one hour, in my opinion. To get some improvement it will not be a very big improvement and it will be very slow improvement but it will be some improvement but half an hour a day for example will you will see no improvement i will tell you why my theory and uh, my theory is because i kind of saw it in practice is that when you're sculpting today for example you sculpt like two hours and you get a little bit better not too much but a little bit and at, at the end of those two hours, you are a little bit better, which is okay, completely fine. Now, tomorrow, you wake up and you already have forgotten some of the things. Your skill is down from yesterday. And you need half an hour just to get your skill up to the point of yesterday. And then you start improving a little bit. So, the first half an hour every day of sculpting will be just to get your skill into the level you were before if it was yesterday if it was like two or three or five days ago it will need more time even to get into the level of the previous level that's why for me minimum of the sculpting uh for a day is like two hours you cannot do it for less if you do it for less than two hours uh, you, you're doing Kind of nothing. I mean, it's a little bit useless. Maybe for fun, but not not improving that much. Or at all. If at all. <laughs> I love your honesty. Yeah. I, how many hours? Yeah. I'm like a blender god. Very good. But should I learn 3D Max for hard surfacing stuff? I see that you have a course about topology in that program. I don't recommend it. Uh, I did that course back in the days because I was working with 3D Max and doing retopology. But now, if I have to do retopology, I would do it in Blender. So, uh, for hard surface, Blender is amazing program, way better than 3D Max. I uh, think that 3D Max should die and uh, be completely forgotten because it's very expensive. It's more expensive than ZBrush, uh, but for me, it's useless. It's absolutely useless program already. After Blender 3.0, back in like 2021, I think, 2020, um, it came out. And uh, since then, 3D Max is not needed. Why his beard right from the mouth? Uh, ask the concept artist. I think this is a concept artist decision. I will not speak about it. It's not my choice, you know. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. I have saved many videos. I'm I'm on your Discord. My name there is Cruz. You can check the messages there. Thank you, Nico. Okay. Uh, I have uh, your one course for free as a torrent file. <laughs> That's cool. That's really great. You aren't against the courses on torrents. It's amazing help for noobs like me. Yeah, because I, I remember when I was younger. Of course, you know, uh, 
the, the courses on torrent file doesn't bother me at all. Uh, they don't bother me because most people, if they uh, have the ability to buy the courses, they will buy them. Uh, if you don't have the ability to buy the courses, you will not buy them anyway. And the torrents are a good way for people who doesn't have the opportunity or the money to buy the courses because they barely have something to eat like I was when I was a student. I ate only mayonnaise and bread because I don't have money for uh, yellow cheese or for cheese or for some kind of meat. No, I haven't eaten meat for a long, long time. I was eating only bread and mayonnaise. That was the only thing. And the only thing I was I kind of allowing myself is one bottle of Coca-Cola a day, big bottle, like uh, two and a half liters. Uh, not very healthy, as I know, but uh, yeah, back in the days, I was like this. Now I don't drink fizzy drinks or sugar drinks, but I eat, I eat a lot of sugar. So yeah, in my opinion, the worst thing for your organism is to drink sugar. To eat sugar is the second worst, but I do it because I am a sugar addict. addict. Yeah. I've tried Coke, cocaine, I mean. I've tried uh, uh, grass, the marijuana or whatever it's called. Uh, you know, it's, it's fine, it's okay. But I didn't get, uh, you know, uh, into that, addicted. But sugar, wow, it's super addictive. I'm ultra addicted to sugar now. Uh, let me show you. I will show you again. Very nice. Moreni. Very cool. Waffles. Those are also very nice. Those are small waffles. Very tasty. Amazing. Just perfect. Also these ones. Those are Bulgarian again. Uh, two, two small waffles inside this one. Very cool. Let me show you something else. Those are famous. Those are not Bulgarian, so you probably know them. Yeah, they are probably everywhere. But also nice chocolate ones. And uh, other things, chocolates and everything. So I have a lot of things just here in my drawer, you know. Uh, in the top drawer, there are the sweet things. In the bottom drawer, the knives. I have knives in my drawer. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing stuff. How do you avoid adaptive voxel remesh to ruin sculpt surface quality? I just uh, use it uh, gradually. So you need to learn more how things are made anatomy and yeah. Did you ever try to sculpt in 3D code? No. Please tell me how the hell to get rid of tendrils that appears in narrow places. Uh, you have to bump up the geometry probably yeah that's most of the time is the answer that must have been unhealthy yeah but nico i have a question for you i only make one skill a day sometimes while watching your videos for tutorial you are saying two hours of sculpting a day minimum so it means i'm not improving yes probably you're not improving that much i think you have to do more if you can, of course, I know I know that many people are working other jobs. They just like to do this. And at some point, their dream is to make money with this, which is great. But um, yeah, in order to improve faster, you have to just put more time. Uh, instead of uh, when going back from work, uh, just to be very tired and sit down uh, in, the, in the couch and watch Netflix or whatever, just sit on your computer and sculpt. You can always spend four hours. Whatever you work you are working, you can spend four hours. Of course, it will be problematic for your uh, mental health a little bit. Because if your work involves some mental exercise <laughs> and you are going back at home and you are tired mentally and you have to improve in sculpting, which means you have to think of the forms, of the anatomy, of the muscles it probably is next to impossible i don't know probably yeah oh some guy gave me some money uh hi nico hope you're doing well thank you for all your teaching and course thank you very much uh 
that's great because of your kind position i do not feel myself as a thief um no uh, when i'm using torrents since in bulgaria in my country when torrents appeared in the world in bulgaria it was something completely normal to use torrents and we are still using it for for example i'm uh, using torrents to watch ufc the fighting uh, when the fighting is like saturday uh in sunday it appears in the torrent so it's way after the event uh, i try to not you know watch some news about it to see who who won to not spoil myself but like 20 hours after the event i got it from the torrents and i can watch it for example but i don't care if it's late or something i just want to watch it at some point and it's fine for me to watch it like this and some movies for example but now i have a netflix uh, you know i paid for netflix and now i don't need any torrents almost except for the ufc i don't think ufc is on netflix but i like to watch them fight because they are hurting their s themselves for me you know for me to watch them and that uh, so i like to watch them Can we skip concept artists by using mid journey? Yes, of course you can if you can. Have you tried mushrooms? No. Coke is more important than anything else. <laughs> Be careful with the sugars, Nico. Please control it for your health. Yeah, I know, I know. I know my uh, blood pressure probably at some point will be pretty bad. Uh, I'm now a character artist and I learned that just by watching your videos for anatomy, of course, you're amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's it's very amazing that you are. Uh, you know, yeah. But that's why I'm doing them. So. Probably this is the purpose, yeah. Try Ukrainian pro production of Russian. Yeah, of course, uh, I have tried. Russian is everywhere here in Bulgaria now. And then I know it's Ukrainian brand, by the way. Russian is a Ukrainian brand. They are making a lot of products. They have big variety of of candy, of sugars, of, uh, of chocolate things. Everything is chocolate, you know. Chocolates, a lot of chocolates, a lot of chocolate candy uh, in a box, you know, a lot of things. So it's cool. Nico needs gun drawer. I, uh, yeah, I need it probably. Yeah. I don't have too much guns. I don't even have even one actual gun. I have just blanks, which cannot shoot real guns with a real uh, ammunition because they will blow up most likely. They're just for blanks, but I have few blanks i just love them i just like them how they look i don't want the real one because it's dangerous it's uh, a responsibility and stuff but uh blanks uh, i'm okay <laughs> this is not bad let's see like this this is even better maybe i'll move them a little bit more down uh I'm not completely happy with the overall proportions because his arms are a little bit too long. But since he's an animal, <laughs> he's an animal, it's okay. It's okay for the arms to be long. I mean, it's okay. It's fine. Let's make, make a little bit of a render, by the way. I will just put one light in here, which will be a sun too. I usually do that. I'm not saying this is the best uh, solution. But I'm doing this. And then another one in the back, which will be our rim light. And usually I do an area light with a little bit of bigger area and 2000 watts of power at least. And it will be from this side. I don't know. Uh, I'm not seeing it now, but we'll see. And one more light, which will be our fill light. And it will be just a point light. Let's say 200. And it will be a little bit more away and i make it bigger with a big radius so it doesn't make too much shadow it just softens the big shadows and let's see how it looks it's uh, not looking very good maybe this okay let's put a little bit of a thing in here which is the overall ambient light and this one we can dial it down even. Okay. Or the angle. The angle is fine. Let's make this shade smooth. And this. 
and let's see how it is. By the way, I will just add a material, which will be with base color, color attribute, which will what? It shouldn't be this way. Uh, it should be the color of this, which I just colored, and it should be mostly white, but it's not, which is not good. So I will delete this color, this uh, material, and add another one with the color attribute. Again, it's not working. I don't know why the color attribute is not working. It should work, but it's not. So what I will do is go to a render, and I will just make the easiest thing, workbench render. I will put a shadow, a little bit darker. I will go to uh, material or attribute. Yeah, attribute. All right. And this should be it uh, without, you know, lights and stuff. We don't need the lights, you know. Lights are overrated. We don't need those bastards. Cavity a little bit will be fine. Yeah, the cavity is almost always a very good idea. But not always, by the way. If you're doing something like a female, uh, you know, character, the cavity will not be a very good idea at all. Shade smooth for this. And the only downside or one of the downsides of this render is we don't have a shadow on the floor. Uh, but it's fine. I don't care. You shouldn't care too. We don't care. We are fine. Uh, and I will, of course, let's make the head smaller. So, uh, bigger. Because it's really a little bit too big. Too small. Let's make it bigger. And now it's a bit better. Let's move this. And it's uh, fine. Maybe without the legs. Just to see it bigger. Mm, I'm not super convinced. But you see, just for a casual stream, it's fine. We have to finish the stream. I will answer a few more questions and we go. Do you know how to draw paint? I know a little bit, yes. But Nico, can I share a streamable link of my first day of sculpting to last day? On here, streamable is a video hosting site, by the way. So you can critique if it's not okay. Thank you. Yeah, you can, but not now. Maybe in the some other stream. Any thoughts on Maya? Maya is uh, good for hair, X-Gen, X -gen. and for animations, I heard it's good. Do you have a YouTube Discord? No, I just have a Discord, normal Discord. Hi, Nikuto. Add wings to it so it can fly, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> to, to fly away to not see it anymore yeah nikolai is there a possibility to get your help as a mentor how much it will be i usually uh usually charge like 50 dollars an hour or something like this to personal uh you know mentorship which for many people i know it's like too much but you know this is it, it is how it is that's why i don't do too much mentorships you know yeah i heard that other people are charging like even more than that, so I think it's fine. Do you do sculpting on the metal models like a royal wooden furniture or like that sometimes? Uh, usually not. I like organic sculpting more. Have you seen uh, Scarbrand Demon from Warhammer? Can you do live sculpting it one day? If it's not too complicated, I probably can sculpt something like this, but it's difficult if there is a lot of detail uh, for two hours. Nico, what do you think is better? Practice four hours on a single character or try to do several smart studies a day? I think both. So you have to try both. Use cycles for color attributes, sir. Uh, but uh, it should work in EV2. Usually it, it's working. Now it's not because there is a bug, I think. Or there is something wrong with the 3.5 that I don't know. Because I'm using 3.5 since yesterday. So, there are some things that I'm not sure about. If I want to work as a 3D artist, do I need to know how to color models in ZBrush Blender as well? Or does someone... No, you have to know how to at least do a poly paint. And then, uh, you need to bake this poly paint into your low poly. Most of the time. 
It needs remesh to materials to work. Remesh to material? I don't know what it is. In color attributes, you should choose vertex group, maybe. There was nothing like this back in uh, the previous version of uh, Blender. It was working uh, right away. Every day when I drive to my office, I watch your YouTube channel in Istanbul traffic. Oh, <laughs> really? That's cool. Nico, what do you think is better? Practice for... Uh, yes, we already answered that one. I'll farm some gold for you. <laughs> okay. When the next stream? First time here and I liked it. Very cool. Uh, the next stream probably soon. I have to just figure out what to do. But the next stream probably I will do just a female head. Very quick. Like half an hour. And then we will do our station reviews from my Discord server. So probably it will be these days. We'll see. Uh, I will announce it half an hour before the stream as usual in the Discord channel. And it will be in this this hours. Tutorial for 3D relief, please. Uh, probably there will be no tutorial for 3D relief. I've checked about Vertis Group right now. It's working. Let's see. We can always see. We can always check things, you know. Eevee. Uh, let's go and uh, turn on the lights. Okay, this the, the fill light is a little bit too big. Uh, I mean, too strong. So, come on. Let's select it and dial it down. We don't need it that much. I need shadows. Alright. Now, let's go. New. Base color. Vertex. Or color attribute. And then, select color. Ah, okay, it's working. Yeah, back in the previous versions of Blender, this was not something. This is not a thing. This was not a thing. Okay, color attribute, color. Material 0, 01, okay. So we have the colors now. And it's kind of working. Although, if we want the... Uh, the thing, the rim light. We have to rotate this light a little bit and put it in the right position. So it can be a nice rim light or scale it even. But scaling usually it's not a very good idea for this kind of lights. Yeah, for, for the lighting it, there is no, uh, some not uh, something that you can say like uh, the lighting is always this. But three point lighting usually is working well. Usually. I'm saying usually, not always. Sometimes it's not working perfectly. Also, we can go uh, to the shadows, um, to the sunlight, and always go contact shadows, because without them, it's a little bit weird. I don't know why those shadows are by default like this. And then we can go to color management, and go to standard, and uh, high contrast. I think for something like a comic book character or something, this high contrast is is a good thing. Let me just put this fill light in here. Not so much from the bottom because it's making it weird. I will put it a little bit more on the top. But it's too dark. So let me just brighten this a little bit from the color of the background. But it's still, uh, in this case, you don't have this kind of a comic book look or something. But it's fine. It's you know, it's more realistic. If we go to cycles, uh, I don't go to cycles in my streams or in my courses that much. Because it's starting to stutter. Uh, the, um, the sound and the video. My machine probably is not that good, so it's it's normal. So I don't do this. I don't do cycles. Cycles is uh, a no-no for me. Ooh, this is because of of the high contrast. Medium contrast is better. In this case, I'm filmic for the for the view transform. I think this is good enough for us for now. I will see. It's fine. I mean, I don't completely approve it because, you see, the head is highly stylized and the body is not that stylized. 
So if I have to do it properly, I have to stylize the body more. Although it's not completely realistic, but it's more realistic than the head and it's not going too well for now. But it is what it is. It's not, uh, I haven't practiced the body. I practiced the head only and that's why. Поздрави, никой имаш uh, и бъгави е, благодаря. <laughs> so, uh, the guy, a guy from Bulgaria is uh, congratulating me. You have new courses in mind? Yeah, I have, but you will see. Yeah, this Tigers looks great. Blender teams always updating things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, guys, bye for now. See you in the next stream, of course. It will be soon, I promise.